Greetings and good morning. It is December 11th. <laughs> I'm heading to the beef, 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 <laughs> big elf 10K run at Stanley Park. I am bundled. Uh, got the new shoes on. I'm bundled. It was three degrees and pouring rain all night. So it's chilly. Um, it's, I think it's four or five now. So it's, you know, it's actually pretty good running weather. The problem is for me, I find is the standing around and waiting <laughs> kills me. I get so cold and, and I'm taking transit. So I'm walking down to the bus. I have to stand there and wait for the bus. And then I got to walk to the start line, do the run then head back to the bus stop and then wait and then get back. So there's a lot of standing around and waiting. Like it's only a 10K and I'll be spending that much time traveling and standing around. So here we are. <laughs> so, oh, dog out on his morning walk. So yeah, I thought I'd grab the GoPro and shoot the run because there'll be a lot of other elves there. And last minute I did put on the elf hat. I never dress up in the stuff, but I figured I might as well. All right, here we go. I made it off the bus. I'm in Vancouver. Can you hear me? Traffic is busy. I'm really glad I took the bus because the traffic getting over the Lionsgate Bridge was, you know, it's typical Saturday afternoon disaster. So glad I didn't have to sit in that. So I got off, um, a stop early. I debated about actually getting off the next stop and then crossing Georgia here and um, catching a bus into the park. But by some miracle, it's not raining. <laughs> so I thought I would uh, walk through the park to the start line. It's at Lumberman's Arch. And I think I know the route. <laughs> the problem is I'm only ever used to cycling through Stanley Park. Um, so it's rare for me to have to kind of walk to certain spots. Oh, that wind. Oh, I'm so glad I brought my puffer jacket. Okay, anyway, I got my headphones blaring in my ear. I can barely hear myself think. So I'll catch up with you at the start line. Just walking into the park. I came up through the original entrance, so like, Almost a hundred years ago, this is the original car entrance into Stanley Park. Like there's a cool bridge you can go over. And when you get into the park, there's a statue of Lord Stanley. Another colonizer. I'm kind of surprised this statue is still standing, but here we are. Uh, yeah, to the use and enjoyment of all people of all colors creeds and customs for all time. I named these Stanley Park. There's a date on it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's more than 100 years ago there. Lord Stanley, Governor General, October 1889. So, there you go. A little bit of Vancouver history. Okay, I gotta figure out what way to go. Just walking up to the start line. Kinda got turned around in the parking lot up there. I <laughs> like I said, I'm not used to walking through the park, but I totally know where I am now. And yeah, it's still early. Uh, glad I brought my puffer jacket. It's windy and it's cold. Saw another guy running by with his GoPro, so I'm not the only one talking to myself. Although I'm talking to you. All right, check it out and then we'll go. Here we are, little little start line action. I'm gonna start the little arch there. I don't have to start and finish the same place. Usually it is because I have no idea. Of, oh, I can't talk. I have no idea how many people are entered in this little event. I haven't done this one before, but. This looks fun. There are some people walking around in here in shorts. Like I'm in full winter kit. 
<laughs> and contemplating running in it too, but I did bring the pack so I can, my puffer packs down into its own pocket so I can shove it into my back pocket, which I'll probably do for the run. I, I, I'm not gonna run a 10K in my puffer, but I am really glad I brought it. So there you go. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, it's still quite a ways to the start, like almost an hour. I'm here super early. <sighs> okay, well, that's okay. I mean, I'm outside and there's lots of people here. I'm gonna kind of walk around, see if there's anybody here I know. Check out the little things. Looks like the little 1K fun run finished up. I see some kids walking around with their finishing medals, which look like wooden cutouts of some sort. So that'll be fun to add to the collection. It's my last official race of the year. And uh, yeah, we'll go there. Okay, see you in a little bit. I guess this is the warm up. The race starts in 10 minutes, and of course, it's starting to rain. <laughs> I haven't taken my coat off yet. Uh, of course, I've been standing here for an hour and it's been fine and now it's, you know, race time and here comes the rain. Here we go. One K into the run. It was really bunched up at the start. Still is, but totally fun. We're heading down Georgia. Five hundred meters or so to the finish line. And I have opinions about this. <laughs> Megan Lee, I'm really out of shape. Not my best 10K, but here we are. I'll record the finish. later. I don't know if my garment just turned on or if it's been on the whole time. Um, <clears throat> so the run was good. Considering I haven't run a 10k in months, I'm thinking it's been a while. So the first 5k were great. Of course I've been doing 5k's for months so that was easy. I think I did the first 5K in 28 minutes, even at a pack full of people. So it was slow. Like I felt like I could have run much faster, <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't because around 7K, uh, I could tell I was not running a 5K. I was doing a 10 and it, it wasn't painful. It's not like, you know, like the marathon or anything, but I can tell I've got a lot of work to do. I'm definitely, not in the greatest shape. <laughs> I think I'm recording sideways. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. Something's weird. Okay, that's better. I think my Garmin, or my Garmin, <laughs> my GoPro is recording portrait mode. Anyway, I was saying, um, I haven't run on 10K in a long time, so I, I definitely can feel it. And I'm definitely 
have lost a lot of fitness since the fall. But, you know, surprise, surprise, I haven't been doing much. So here we are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I met a really great couple, Fernando. Oh, Savoy, Sevo, Sevin. Something like that. I'm gonna look him up on Strava. Uh, he was really great. His wife stood there and watched the whole thing. She must have froze. But uh, he does triathlon too, so that's cool. I, um, yeah, so I'm gonna look that up now before I forget. And that's it. My Garmin says I'm 200 meters shy of a 10K. So I'm just gonna finish my nice hot coffee. And uh, just maybe, you know, jog until I get the 10K on my Garmin and then just make my way over the bus stop. So I'm gonna do that quickly before I start getting cold because I gotta dig my jacket out. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll talk to you later, bye. Last leg home. <laughs> I just got off the bus. The bus was packed. I was lucky to get on it in Georgia. He stopped <laughs> ahead of the stop because he didn't want anybody on, but I, couple people got off so we let a few people on but I jumped on and like the back door <sighs> lucky <laughs> it's busy out I'm so glad I took the bus though because Georgia was just a gong show of traffic and I'm glad I took it all the way to like home instead of parking at the mall because the mall is just a gonger as well <laughs> everybody's out doing their shopping uh, okay so how do I feel I feel pretty good. I admit I do not have the energy to jog up the hill home. So I'm walking. Uh, my bunion on my right foot is a little tender. I can definitely feel it. And I think the legs just feel a little bit fatigued, but I mean, it's just a 10K, so it's all fine. But <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Did I say that already? I think I said that already. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm almost home. It's actually darker out than what I think it shows on this GoPro, but like it's, I can't see the time. It's almost 4.30, so uh, it's getting dark. And I'm really glad I had this parka, like this puffer because there's no way I could have stood around for as long as I did and then to get home, like it's cold. And by cold, I mean three degrees cold, but it's, you know, it's, it's very damp. It's a very damp, I'm, you know, I'm in Vancouver, it's not that bad. But totally fun, I would totally do the elf run again. The little metal was totally cute. It's not even metal. It's uh, a laser cut wood, which I kind of like. And I like the, the, um, what the, the thing, the ribbon. <laughs> Looks like a candy cane, because it's red and white, which I think is cute. And it says, uh, Big Elf Run, hashtag Big Elf Run 2022 official elf. <laughs> so totally fun. I would do it again and I'm glad it was in the park. There wasn't that much elevation. There was a bit of a hill right off the start to kind of climb up onto the path. Uh, but then there was like a little descent and then it was just around the seawall, which is totally flat. So it was totally fine. A little headwind uh, when you come around that point, prospect point, is it prospect? No, what's the point? Looking into the inlet. <laughs> I, anyway, <laughs> like where the seaplanes take off and you can see Canada Place and North Van and all that. Like, it was windy there. But when you got around that, you had the wind at your back and it was kind of nice because that was on the way back to the finish line. So yeah, it was fun. It was a two loop course. Then we did a 1K fun run for the kids. Then there was a 5, 10, 15. So it was just like one, two or three laps. So... Uh, but it was all professionally timed and they had music and bands playing along the way and yeah, it was, you know, it was done up all proper. It was a good little race and at the finish, they were serving Starbucks coffee, which 
I may regret later because I had a cup, but, uh, and I got a cliff bar. <laughs> so that'll get me through until I get home here. So I'm almost home, kind of rambling. Uh, so that concludes the 2022 race season. That was my last race of the year. And it was kind of a last minute race. I mean, I signed up a little while ago, but uh, I'll have to add up all my races. I'll do another video on that. My races for 2022 and the crazy thing that all of these races have in common. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them have in common. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to the fun run with me. Hope you have a great day, great night, or morning, wherever you may be. And I will see you next video. Okay? All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.